Good evening once again. Another local school is dropping out of the idea of using high scoring tests like the SAT and the ACT as a requirement for admittance. St. Bonaventure University joins a list of other colleges and schools who say that they're looking far beyond a student's test score to see if they are the right fit for their school. The others include Niagara University, Damon College, Villa Maria, Hilbert. So why the change all of a sudden? 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley takes a closer look tonight at the success rate of this growing trend. St. Bonaventure's new no test policy will begin with this fall's freshman class. Vice President for Enrollment Bernie Valento says the university has been losing good students to other campuses not requiring SATs or ACTs. And there seems to be a trend recently where students uh, apply to test optionals first while they're waiting to maybe retake their SATs or improve their test scores. Test optional is a nationwide trend at about 40% of colleges and universities. Niagara University pulled the plug on testing in 2018, but another local college dropped the requirement years ago. Villa Maria College here in Chittawaga is one of four area schools that does not require the SATs or ACTs for college admissions. So we don't want to create more barriers to education. We want to try to find the right students to come here who are going to be a great fit for our school. Vice President for Enrollment Brian Emerson says Villa still requires students to meet the standards of their high school grades to be admitted. The standardized test doesn't tell you a full um, picture about the student. It tells you whether or not they're good at taking a test or how they did on that particular day when they sat down for the test. Villa student Casey Malakowski says not having to worry about ACT or SAT test scores allowed her to build up her art portfolio for her college major. I took the ACTs and SATs, but it, it, it really destroyed me. I was so stressed out all the time. And I think, honestly, when, when it comes to like getting into a good college, I think colleges should be a lot more focused on like the quality of a student rather than just a number on the paper that the test represents. St. Bona also points to an equity issue. So there's real evidence that these students can come, be successful, graduate on time, um, and have very successful careers. So all the research points to that. Yeah. The National Center for Fair and Open testing says test optional also removes equity gaps so students are not accepted based on race or household incomes. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.